Hi there and welcome to this video about making images move in new source with for loops. Now I've got an app here that I've um, previously coded which um, you'll have seen in a previous video which shows how to upload a video and um, basic uh, not upload a video <laughs> upload an image okay so what we've got here is um, a variable to hold an image and then I've got the um, GFX image load to upload the red dot image and I've put that code into image red dot here and then I've drawn it onto the screen at position 100 pixels from the um, left hand side and 100 pixels down from the top and so that's positioned it and then I've shown it so made it visible with GFX show. So what I'd like to do now is to actually make that image move okay so rather than just being a static image in the one place I'd like it to move. So first thing I'm going to need is, because I'm going to be moving it, let's say I've decided I'm going to move it along the X axis. Now we could move it on both axes at once to go in any particular direction, but I'm going to do the X axis. Now for that I'm going to be changing this value here in GFX Image Draw, that's where it positions on the X axis. Okay, so what I'm going to do, because that's going to be changing, it's going to be a variable. So I'm going to call that X position. Okay, uh, except I'm going to put a capital P. Okay, and also because I'm using a for loop, I'm going to have a loop counter. Okay, so I'm now going to place, or well, first off, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my X position. equal to where I'd like it to start which is 100 okay so I'm going to put it in there and at that point I can remove the 100 oops, sorry, copy that and paste it into here to replace that okay so there's my exposition now now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my for loop and I'm going to place this code the positioning and the showing of it inside of my for loop Okay, because I'm going to need to be doing that over and over again. Repositioning, changing the X position, and then showing it again. So, for loop counter equals 200. Okay, and put my curly brackets in around that code. And I'm going to indent the code, which is good practice to show that it belongs inside the for loop. Okay, so at the moment, if my for loop was to run, okay, then from it would run a hundred times and it would draw the image onto the screen in the same position because X position is staying at a hundred, okay, and it would just show the image. So if I was to save that source and check, see that's worked, and runs the code there, and my red dot stays exactly where it is. So let's just go back. Okay, now what I'd like to do is each time through the loop, I'd like the X position to change a little bit. So what I'm going to do inside the loop then is to do let uh, X position. So let's just copy that so I don't spell it wrong. So let X position equal position plus one okay so it's going to change the exposition so if we work our way through the loop the first couple of times so loop counter starts at one okay so image draw the red dot exposition is set to a hundred and it's a hundred on the Y okay so that's fine so it draws that then it says let exposition equal to exposition plus one which of course at this point we're not using exposition but that becomes 101 Okay, and then it shows the graphic at X position where we set it, so that will be 100. Okay, it comes back around the loop counter. The loop counter is now 2. Okay, so it positions image draw with the new value of X position, which was 101. Okay, then resets that value and does the GFX show. And so gradually, as it moves around our loop counter, it does that. Now let's actually have a look at how that works, okay, in theory. 
and we can see what's actually happened is our code runs so fast through those loops that it's actually ended up at x equals 200 so it's run all the way through all of the loops and finishes there and this is y equals 100 so it's gone too fast for us to see so we're going to need a little delay in our code to make that actually work so if we go back to the edit the source okay and we say right okay well we need a bit of a delay so after the gfx show i'm going to do timer dot sleep okay and set that maybe to uh well set it to five to give it so it's five hundredths of a second and if we now play that and we can see our red dot is now moving across the screen until it reaches x equals 200 okay so it's finished the loop okay and stops okay so that's an example of using um, a for loop to make an image move so let's just br briefly go back through what we were doing we're already used to this code this is image draw this is the code that positions the image and because we're using x position for the x coordinate and x position is changing each time that's what's making the image move this is the thing that's changing x position okay so that's the the let statement where we're incrementing it by one each time then we've got GFX show which actually makes that visible on the screen and between each loop we're doing a little timer dot sleep five so it's basically pausing it for five hundredths of a second so that we're actually able visibly to see it move across the screen so that the for loop doesn't run too fast. Have fun with making your images move.